Ah, yake aya ye khsatini, stakat yohan, konakhist kuaha, audiganya yagi anchich ako akusi at konakh. Um it's good to see you guys. It's really fall time here in Anchorage. It's sunny out today, but it's really cold. Uh nask yagi aya ya yagi this plain you do a sock ya this uh, it's Wednesday, the third day of the week, big moon, and 23 days have passed this month. So a couple reminders, uh, I think we're pretty dialed in by now here, but um, help our class stay on track by holding your questions and mm -hmm. comments for discussion times. And then if you have background noise, I know I ask you guys to unmute your mics and repeat after me, but if there's like a semi truck going by your picnic table, you can just stay muted. Um, I won't be auditing you to make sure you unmuted. You can just keep it on mute if there's a lot of background noise. So we're gonna jump into it today and um, how, what do you, wasadu wasak yata, how do you say, call this first item? Tahini. Ah, ah, good. Everyone repeat after me. Tahini. Tahini. Good. And what about number two? Utchi. Good. Ah, uh, everyone repeat after me. Utchi. Good. And number three. Come back to that one. Give you a second to think about it. And number four. Ah. Everyone repeat after me. Good. Now, as an exercise, just doing our best, how do we spell item one? And we can all do it like, what do you call it? Wheel of, not Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Everyone can kind of game show style, just pop off your answers. So how do we spell this first one? T? Uh. L? Close. Nope. A? Ah. Uh, Underline Dex. K. Oh, yeah. Underline Dex. Good. A S K. Close. H. 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 Good. Double E. I N I. Double E N I. And then there's a high tone vowel. Which one is it? The E. Ah, uh, the first E. The double E is high tone. So I'll repeat after me, tahini. Tahini. Good, good group work. All right, number two, how do we spell this item? A. U. Uh, U. U. Uh huh. L. T. 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 L. L. Ah. Uh. A underline X. X. Uh, e. I. I good. I. And there's a there's a high tone vowel. Which one is it? U. U. U away. The U is high tone. High tone U. Um. Let's do number four. How do you spell this item? T L E L E I. K W underline K. Uh, mm. W. Good. And which vowel is high tone here? W. E. E. I mean. Yep. Good. The E is high tone. So repeat after me. Number one is tahini. Tahini. Utchi. Utchi. Clear. 
And how would we spell number three if anybody remembers? Underline X. Apostrophe. Yeah. Good. Double E. Mm -hmm. S H I. Good. And there's something missing at the beginning. What is it? At. Yeah, oh wait, at Rishi. And high tone. Uh, e. e. Good. Dang, you guys. Um, <coughs> So, number three, repeat after me. Atrishi. Atrishi. Good. Number one, Tahini. Tahini. Two, Utri. Three, Atrishi. Atrishi. Four, for Cleok. 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 Good. So that's um, after a week just looking at the pictures. You guys were collectively able to spell the items and recall their names. So. I feel really proud of you guys, all of you. Okay. So say these when you see him. Go ahead. Ah, repeat after me. Utri. Good. Really good. Really good, yeah. Repeat after me. Atrishi. Atrishi. Good. Good. Repeat after me. Tleok. 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 Good job. So, sentence review. I'm hungry for berries. Repeat after me. Tleok ach eat uaha. Tleok eat uaha. Tahini ach eat uaha. Tahini ach eat uaha. Ah, good. Utri ach eat uaha. Awesome. So, any questions on these? I know the review, but you guys all sound really good. And I'm glad that you can remember the items without your notes or. So to add a little more repetition, a little more variety, listening to a fluent speaker, Johnny Marks, he was Luca Um He was the brother of Florence Shakley, um, the late Nora Marks Downhower. Of, um, and also of one of my current mentors, King Kaudanik, Paul Marx. Um, they're basically a powerhouse family of siblings who have been helping us make learning materials for decades. But this is Johnny Marx. I never had a chance to meet him before he passed. Um, but I study his audio recordings a lot because Tlingit was his first language and he has a really natural way of speaking. So um, I'll teach you guys these phrases. You can repeat after me. Of course, my pronunciation is gonna be very textbook. The way you learn any second language, it's gonna, I'm gonna have like a lot of spaces between the words. I'm gonna over enunciate. So we'll practice it um, repeating after me and then I'll hit play and we'll listen to Johnny. 
So the first one, are you hungry when you're talking to one person? That's this S in brackets, it means singular. Uh, when you're talking to someone, you'll either be talking to one person or multiple, and that's why we um, specify. So the first one, are you hungry? Repeat after me. Eat geyan uaha. Good. When you're talking to multiple people, this i in eat becomes yi. So repeat after me. Yi eat geyan uaha. Good. Again. Yi eat geyan uaha. Good. I'm hungry. Repeat after me. Achitian uaha. Good. When you're not hungry, you add this word tlesh and you change yan uaha to yan wuha. So it sounds a little different. There's a little bit of different shape. Uh, and sound to the sentence. So repeat after me. Good. Again. This this second word looks like khat, which is fish in Tlingit, but it's also spelled the same way and pronounced the same way as a contraction of these two, ach eat. Yeah, so not to confuse you guys, they're not talking about fish in this sentence. <laughs> they're just contracting ach eat into one word, which becomes chat. Yeah, good. So let's do the sentence again. Awesome. Yeah. I'm thirsty. So um, when we talk about hunger, we say yan waha. I'm thirsty is a diff totally different word. And repeat this line after me. Good. Again. Good. So I'm going to hit play. And um, this is from an audio CD that leaves a little bit of space after he says it. You're welcome to repeat after him. You can leave your mics unmuted. You can mute. Whatever makes you guys comfortable, but I'm not going to hit start and stop. I'm just going to play it through. Are you hungry? Eat gay on Oaha. Eat gay on Oaha. Eat gay on Oaha. Eat gay on Oaha. Are you all hungry? Eat gay on Oaha. I'm hungry. I'm not hungry. I'm thirsty. Good. How did you guys feel about that? Anything good. pop up? Not bad. Good. Not bad. You sounded good. Any observations? In the in the where it says that the the I'm thirsty, the last X it's is it pronounced with the K like a K? Not quite. It's more smooth. It's like a almost like when a cat hisses 
when they make that friction in their mouth. It doesn't quite close like a cake. It's Can you just repeat that? So it's ha shan waku. Yeah, so the whole phrase, uh, everyone go ahead and repeat after me. Yeah. Again, one one more time. Good. Really good. It was hard for me to tell the difference between his underlying X and his regular X, his high X. Yeah, oh, uh, me too. Forward X. Yeah, thank you. Um, that's a good point. I noticed it too. When I teach these sounds, I really over enunciate them. <sighs> the underlying X. <sighs> yeah, fair but, enough. Yeah, but Johnny, as a birth speaker, you can tell he's making the sound in the back of his throat. But it's not so gravelly and pronounced. It's kind of sounds more flowy. Uh, same thing with this one. I noticed that as mm -hmm. well when he says, mm -hmm. -tian uaha. It's like, uh, uh, -tian uaha. Uh, it's almost more, more like a purr. Yeah, more like a purr, like a pronounced H. Like in the Arabic <clears throat> language, they have an H that you say in the back of your throat. It's almost like that. So is he is he ex um, doing this knowing that we're learning it? So this like like normally he would speak it a lot quicker and and he wouldn't be enunciating everything the way he is right now, right? I think I'm not sure. Um, I know that he says it clearly and. I'm not sure if the people recording him asked him to slow down or overpronounce. Um, I kind of take it as like, this is my goal for how I want to speak. This is a, sounds more natural for him. Okay. Yeah. Good questions. So let's do another one and some of these sentences we worked on in this class, so it'll be review, but just adding more things to talking about eating and drinking. The first one is what do you want to eat? So let's start with this last word. Repeat after me. Yecha ye. Yecha ye. And these first two words are a what question? So repeat after me. Dasa. Dasa. The next three words mean you want it. Ituwa segu. Ituwa segu. And then back to our last word to eat. Yecha ye. Yecha ye. Good. So let's do it in sections. Dasa. Dasa. Ituwa segu. Ituwa segu. Yecha ye. Yecha ye. Good. So this word yechai means that you eat it. Yeah. Now, a, mm -hmm. that's a next word. This, in the next line, we're talking about you drinking. So it's a totally different word. Instead of yechai, we say this word. Repeat after me. Idanaye. Idanaye. This is generally drinking a cold liquid water or something that you can gulp down when you talk about hot liquids like coffee you use a different word so what do you want to drink repeat after me dasa dasa ituwa siku ituwa siku dasa ituwa siku idanaye idanaye Good. Really good. So the whole line, repeat after me. Dasa itu wasiku idanaye. Dasa itu wasiku idanaye. 
And then this last one, what's for dinner? So mm -hmm. the first two words mean this evening. Repeat after me. Yachana. Yachana. And then the meal. Atchaye. Atchaye. A what question? Dasa. 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 And then we will eat it. Gachtucha. Gachtucha. So good. So by chunk. Yachana. Yachana. Atchaye. Good. So now we'll do this one by line. So we'll make them larger chunks. Repeat after me. Yachana at Chaye. Da sakach to ha. Da sakach to ha. Good. And let's try the whole sentence nice and slow. Repeat after me. Ya hana at ha ye. Da sakach to ha. Ya hana at ha ye. Ya sakach to ha. Mum. Yeah. Good. How do you guys feel? Pretty good. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's quite the 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 translation for what's for dinner. <laughs> that is like that can't be verbatim what they what we just said in the Lincoln language. No, good point. So it's much more specific and longer. Like in the English, what's for dinner? They don't add this evening, which in Tlingit you do. It's this evening's meal. What is it we will eat? So there's a lot more mm -hmm. words than in the English side. So if you're if you if you if you're asking for like breakfast or or lunch, you would start yahana, and then you'd go at. And then whatever breakfast, lunches. Those are good questions. I'll add those for the next class so that I can explain it to you guys. Okay. Yeah. Good questions, though. Anna, can you um, say what do you want for dinner? Just as the the same way you say what do you want to drink, can you add the yachan at chayi? Or how I, does that change into that? I would add, if I was doing it on the spot, like if I was at an elder's house and deciding what to cook him for dinner, I would say, this evening, what do you want to eat? Um, I would I would go with, okay. or maybe, or maybe just add <laughs> at the evening. What do you want to eat this evening? Good questions. All right. Let's do some more pronunciation. Same thing. I'm going to hit play. You guys are welcome to repeat after him. You can mute. You can unmute. Leave it open. Here you go. What do you want to eat? Dasi tuwa siku yechai. Dasi tuwa siku yechai. Dasi tuwa siku yechai. What do you want to drink? Dasi tuwa siku itanai. Dasi tuwa siku itanai. Dasi tuwa siku itanai. Dasi tuwa siku itanai. What's for dinner? Yachan atchai dasi kachtuha. Yachan atchai dasi kachtuha. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I'm going to do, I'm going to play it again. This time I'll pause it for you guys to repeat after him. What do you want to eat? Dasi tuwa siku yechai. Dasi tuwa siku Dasi tuwa siku yechai. 
What do you want to drink? Oops. Uh, sorry. One moment. What do you want? To One moment. What's for dinner? Yahan at Haita Sikachuha. Yahan at Haita Sikachuha. Yahan at Haita Sikachuha. Good. So I know that was fast, but you guys sound good. And um, mostly we go nice and slow in this class, but every once in a while I'll crank up the heat on you because you're starting to show that you're ready for it. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So for our video study, you guys were very helpful in reminding me that you need meaning to the words. We can't just do pronunciation for too long of periods. You need to be able to see what they mean. So I added some slides for us. And let's do a review of vocabulary. So this word means ocean, salt water, or salt and it has a pinched L at the end. So a pinched Shinget L is gonna have some bubbles come out on the side of your cheeks and you gotta relax this part of your mouth and just let let the pinched <coughs> L kind of bubble through your cheeks, I guess is how I would say it. Um, so repeat after me, eight. 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 Uh huh, try again. Eight. 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 Good. When we add the word water, heeny, it becomes ocean or salt water. So repeat after me. Eight. Heeny. Eight. Heeny. Eight. Good, Carrie. Repeat after me again. Eight. Heeny. Eight. Mm. Good. Yes, that sound. So translation review. Um, do your best, repeat after me, uh, and then we'll break it down. So, Chaukaya. The cut. The cut. Yes, it Good. So our meanings long ago, all over on the world, the water became the ocean. I'm also going to show it to you in this format because people mentioned that it's helpful to have the words right below them uh, in English. So this first word. Repeat after me. Chak. Chak. That means long ago. And then this, aya can mean this or here. Repeat after me. Aya. 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 And then they repeat it again. It's a storytelling mechanism, saying it twice to let everyone know, hey, I'm telling a story. So the whole line, repeat after me. Chak. Chak. 
Long ago here, long ago. And so I'm just putting the whole thing so you can see what's coming next. I'll just read it to you. <laughs> Good. Um, does anybody want to volunteer to try reading the whole line? Carrie, go for it. Go ahead. Chaku aya chakau itakat ya linket a ni kai ya tiahi hin awa eh hinik wusiti. Good round of applause. <laughs> Did it. Was I close? Yes, you were really good. Oh, good. Uh, Two, we could do two more volunteers if people want. Anybody else want to try? I'd do it. Go for it. Chalk, aya chalk, the cut ya sling it on the kaye ya tea ye hin away it hinichusity. Good, nice. Bravo. Yeah. <laughs> And a third person. Not required. Okay. Maddie, you kind of seem like you want to say something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. I didn't know I'd be called out. I'll try. All right. <laughs> um Chak aya chak stakat ya singit ani ka ye yati hin awe es hinek usiti. Good. Uh, yeah. Thank you for being a good sport. I totally said, I totally told you guys that I would not be calling you out, and then I did. So thank you for playing along. You're forgiven. Okay. You guys can also tell me now. I accept no. I think it's a good idea because then you can also hear us individually where we're at too. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and I think with the learning process, it's okay to get out of our comfort zone a little bit. Yeah. I promise not to call you guys out anymore, but I'm super glad you did. Good night, Chish. So the next line, looking at a breakdown, this first word is an L, a thinget L, followed by the sound D. So you take it takes a little finesse with your pronunciation, but you guys mostly sound good so far. So repeat after me. The cut. The cut. The cut. Good. And then this. Yeah. 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 Mm hmm the next word looks like Thlingit Ani, which means Thlingit land. But when you pinch the T and make it one word, you turn it into the world. So this word means the world. Repeat after me. Thlingit Ani. Ani. Good. And then this last word, on it. Ka. 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 Yeah. So let's do um repeat after me. The cut. Yes. And the whole phrase. The cut yesing it anika. On this whole world. So you notice in English we put the word on at the beginning and in Tlinget we put it at the end. So we can start thinking about when we talk about in things, on things, from things, those words will come at after the item we're describing or the location we're describing. 
And the sentence continues. So this word ye uh, goes with yeti, and it means like being. So repeat after me. Ye yeti. Ye yeti. Good. And then water heen. 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 Good. Any volunteers to read the whole line? Good. Two more? Yeah, yeah, tea, yeah, hin. Ah, okay, one more. Yeah, yeah, tea, yeah, hin. Good. Everyone repeat after me. Yeah, yeah, tea, yeah, hin. Yeah, yeah, tea, yeah, hin. Really good. So this phrase connects to the previous line. So we have that is water, but look at what comes before. The katya singitani ka. So these ideas go together. Um, what we're saying is all of the water that is on the world. So that we have on this whole world, um, the water that is. So we're talking about all the water that was on the world. And then the next line so this word that is repeat after me salt and then say these two words together yeah water is just heen uh, and then we add this ich sound to to connect it both to salt. So what kind of salt? I mean, what kind of water? Salt water. And then we add this to connect it to wusiti. Yeah. So we don't need to do a huge breakdown of each part, but just starting to pay attention to how the sentences go together. Um, repeat after me. Hini wusiti. And then say, Awa eight hini husiti. Awa eight hini Good. Uh, became salt water. So, on this whole world, the water that is on it became salt water or became the ocean remember they can be interchanged so i'll read you this line and then see if anyone wants to practice repeat uh i'll just read it first any volunteers to read? Can you repeat it again? Yeah. Um, uh, I let's do let's do everyone repeat after me by section. The cut ya sing it on a car. The cut ya sing it on a car. Yay, ya tea Practice. Jamie, it is. Ah, uh, go ahead. Chalk, aya, chalk, but cut, ya, sing it. Wait, ya, sing it on a car. Yay, a tea. Yay, a tea, heen away. Yes, heenich, woosa tea. Good. Oh. Round of applause. <clears throat> so good. We can do ah, uh, we can do one more if anybody wants. Can try? Yeah. 
Go ahead, Chloe. Hi, John. I just wanted to tell you I enjoyed your radio program finally yesterday when you good you job right. round of applause. So Yay. Oh, you heard it. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy listening to you. Again. I don't want to mute that. And, uh, I can't find him. Can you find him? The other thing oh, I, I never made you a co host. Hosting, it's Lori. I'm going to put on some coffee. Okay. Do you want some? Oh, uh, yeah, I think there's some coffee. Did you notice that I played some bluegrass? Jamie and I, <laughs> I made you a co-host. Hours dropping. Okay, I got it. Thank <laughs> you. You're the best. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> so, um, looking at the next line, I'll just read this one to you. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll just read this one to you, and then we'll do a little breakdown. And then we get to watch the video. Oh, Anna. Yeah. I just saw that um, in the chat. The yeah. the L before D is new to me. Can you sound that one out again? So on the last screen for uh, okay. uh Thank you. Thank you for bringing that up. Okay, wait. Also, let's do a quick change of plans. Okay, so we'll do the cut. And then Jamie Ann... I would love for you to make an announcement about the apology this Saturday. So, um, this word, the cut that means all, let's go to it. Uh, the way I do this is I start just focusing where contact is made in my mouth. So for the voiceless or the thing it L, Tip of your tongue, back of your top front teeth, and then breathe it out. Good. So when you make this sound, you can, duh. There's a little bit farther back on your tongue. Just top the roof of your mouth and say, duh. So go repeat after me. Duh. Duh. Good. Again, duh. Stuck. Perfect. So the whole word, everyone repeat after me. The cut. The cut. Good. Um, did that help? Okay, good. And it sounds like my mic is working better. We are I, on. Uh huh. Go ahead. Um. Uh. Oh yeah, so the I know that Robin had a question as well about the the pinched L and it, and you were talking about the bubbles with that. Uh. Are the bubbles in reference to when the elder shared that with you about a pinched L, or should we always hear bubbles with the voiceless L? Uh, I don't know. I'll ask her. Um, Shirley Kendall describes it that way. When I do a pinch doll, she's like, I want to hear the bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, Rene taught me to achieve it. You really relax these part of your cheeks, like in the front. Yeah. Um, when you hear Nakash on say this in the video, you can really, really hear it. So I'll play it slow for us. Um, so Gonachish. I guess I can kind of hear bubbles when I say guanachish, which is not pinched, but I'll ask. Yeah. You said just now, like you tip of the tongue on your teeth, uh -huh. right? And so I found that, like, I think that I was, I've always been pulling my tongue back a little bit more to be like roof of my mouth. And when I put it on my teeth, my cheeks immediately relaxed more. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Eesh. 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 So, just something I noticed. Good point. I never thought about that. Eat. Eat. I'll try to find um, I'll try to find more recordings of elders speaking it too, so we can hone in. Any more questions? 
Okay. Um, we talked about this in the Tuesday, Thursday class with Shirley, but we haven't talked about it in this class. And there's a lot of people here who are in this class specifically. So I'm happy to mention about um, the apology that will happen this Saturday. But Jamie Ann, would you like to do it? It's been 142 years since um, our home village has been bombed by the United States Navy in 1882, just uh, not too long after um, Alaska Day, right? Where our lands were sold by Russia to the United States. <laughs> I like that you're pulling that up. So uh, we've been waiting 142 <laughs> years for this apology. And the team, uh, four of us are at Hatush, are traveling over. Um, my my mother's father was Shawan Billy Pete Jackson. His father was Anka Ska Pete, uh, I'm sorry, Johnson, Pete Johnson. And there had brother Billy Jones, um, Jimmy Johnson, Harley Johnson, and their uncle was Tislain, the shaman that was, we know the uncle was just another grandfather. And so the, he was um, killed by the harpoon that backfired while uh, out whaling with the Northwest Trading Company. And um, they, we had ordered 200 blankets for his death and the Northwest Trading Company had sent people to Sitka to report what was happening in Angoon. So we were in mourning, we weren't working anymore and stuff like that. Um, and they told the Navy and the Navy came in and said that no one was going to pay us 200 blankets and they ordered double on us the 400 blankets. And when they talk blankets, they're talking our atu, they're talking about our actual robes. We were um, able to gather 81 blankets to offer to the Navy. They said if we didn't have the food, they would come to shore and um, burn our houses down. And they sent bombs in and then they did send foot soldiers in to burn those houses and all the canoes. The canoe that was off out with a um, a group of young men who were who were fishing and stuff for the day and that canoe had the beaver prowl on it which we will see displayed on Saturday it's usually sitting front and center um, but year after year we've waited for a couple minutes in silence waiting for the Navy to call us and apologize on October 26th and this is the year that they're actually going to be there to apologize within two minutes. Um, so um, it's very significant for us to be talking about this and, and that we're all going over for the to witness the apology and to also receive the healing of that. Um, we have many gifts that we're bringing that have been prepared and uh, significantly, significantly uh, using the number 142 in the body butters that we're bringing, 142 cedar oil rollers, 142 protection sticks, and I have 81 blankets. And so, um, yeah, the team has been out working with different classes and gathering, um, making these, these gifts to hand out during the celebration part of the ceremony. And lots of good medicine has been put in them by different um, kids in town and um, different schools. And in fact, the, the remaining cedar rollers are being made today. And so just wanted to share that this is um, a really big moment in history and, um, and definitely for our family and the people of Angoon. And I think that there's going to be much more apologies that will be made to different communities. Um, it's kind of just 
starting this, you know, effect of apologies, the apology and cake, the apology that just happened the other day to the Douglas Island, uh, Douglas Indian Association for the 1962 burning of the village there. That's occurring also with a proclamation signed by the city and then this one. And so I think we're going to see more of it um, in different places. So be prepared for more of it to come, I think. Ganesh Chish for allowing me to share this. Uh, are we allowed to attend? You are. There's a ferry leaving early Friday morning, uh, Alaska Marine Highway. It um, it leaves at 7 a.m. So walk-ons are at 6. I would look and see if you could get a ticket. That ferry leaves on the 25th on Friday, comes back on Monday. Their gold belt does have a catamaran going over just for Saturday turnaround. It should arrive at 9 a.m. and then it leaves again er earlier in the evening. So just really coming in to witness the apology portion. You wouldn't be there for the Kuik portion, um, but still witnesses is a very uh, important role as well. Um, and I don't know if they're adding a second, um, but I would call Gold Belt Incorporated to see if they're adding a second catamaran because the first one is already completely full. Will this be live streamed? Will be through Sea Alaska Heritage. Um, so uh, I don't know where that link might be, but Sea Alaska Heritage will be uh, there to film it. There will be several different um, news news people will be there. One coming up from San Francisco. And then we have, I think, some locals um, around the area who will be coming. I know that the kids uh, of Angoon are going to be recording. I don't know if they're going to be live streaming it. Um, uh, and then, so if you're not able to watch live, I know that there will be recordings afterwards, but it sure would be uh, wonderful if you could tune in, Carrie and others, uh, to check out Sea Alaska Heritage, they've got on uh, YouTube. And Sea Alaska is that C E A? Uh, S S E A L A S K A. Um, I'll put it in the chat. I just found the link where you can um, click on their live stream. Fantastic. Yeah. Hey, do we still have time to get the healing of the video? <laughs> um, I sent the video in the chat. Uh, do you mean the, um, the language it... video? <laughs> uh, let's leave. Maybe I'll play a short clip, but I just want to add that I also put in the chat a link to the YouTube video and Goon 100 years later um, for people to watch at home. It's a 30 minute video and it does a good job of explaining the history um, and some of the conversations that have happened since. So check that out. I think let's do video study next week um, so that we don't have to rush. I get, I tend to push the wrong buttons and like get all confused, but I think this is good. I think let's leave a moment to honor our history. Are there any questions or comments? Okay. Well, thank you for going. Thank you for sharing. And if there's... What was the link for the one that you were saying about the video? Is it yeah. Like, what is it called? Do you want to watch... Are you talking about the, the history of Angoon or the live stream for the yeah. apology? Okay. So that of Angoon. The history of Angoon is... I mean, I just this... see youtube.com forward slash watch. Yeah, it should be this one. Yeah. I just put it in. Oh. Um. I mean, I have the Sea Alaska Heritage Institute. That one will be the live stream. For and the then... live stream. Yeah, and then the one I just put in the chat above Wutsaga's post is Angoon 100 years later, the history video. 
where it says Douglas Village Burning? No, no, Wutsa got added that right after I posted it. There, I just put it again. Oh, um, maybe I can email it to Jamie Ann. Because it still comes up as youtube.com forward slash watch. Yeah, that should be that's... it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. If you okay. click that. This punch in www.youtube.com forward slash watch. You should just be able to click it right in the chat. If you press on it, does it give you an option? Does it open up? Um, it's not even opening. Okay, we'll email it. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a good rest of your day. I'll see you next week. Finish cheese. Uh, finish cheese. Finish cheese. Uh, okay.